What you guys got another video here for you now quite a lot of people hate Windows 10 and they don't know what their options are when they've upgraded so I thought we'd make a video uh, showing what options you've got uh, once you've upgraded to Windows 10 and we're going to cover that in this video so first off let's take a look at rolling back so you've got an option to roll back from Windows 10 to your previous operating system but you've got 30 days to do that so let me just show you where you go we're going to click on the start button here and we're going to go to uh, the settings pane and inside here you will see update and security now inside here you'll be looking at this screen here okay so you want to come down to recovery and inside the recovery screen this is where you're going to be seeing uh, your rollback it will be right here now obviously mine is gone past 30 days and that has now gone and I can't roll back so here this is where you'll be looking at now whether you've got a chance to roll back to Windows 7 Windows 8 Windows 8.1 the options will be like these on the screen right here if you don't see those and you uh, don't see those on your screen then that option is now gone so what other options have you got? Well, if you've got an image of your previous version of Windows, you can use that to restore from. Now, if you right click on the start button and go File Explorer, inside here, this is where my image is. Now, if you've got an image here like this, which you backed up using Windows or Cronus or Macrum Reflect or any of those types of uh, backup software and it's a copy of your Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 you can use that uh, to reinstall Windows you will have to uh, use that image to go back to and you'll find that uh, that image will then activate and you can then use your Windows 7, Windows 8 or 8.1 the other option that you've got is if you haven't got an image you may have a recovery partition something like this on your screen if it's a laptop and it come with a recovery partition you may have a recovery partition there that will roll back to Windows 7 Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 but it's very unlikely because Windows 10 normally destroys that recovery partition and it normally disappears but if it's there you may be able to use that to roll back sometimes you get recovery software like a CD or something like that you can use to revert back with now if that is the case and you've got a Windows 7 Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 you can use those boot to it and reinstall from that uh, CD now other options are you may have already a copy of Windows uh, 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1 and something like this it'd be a box with the actual media in there that's where your license key will be and you can use that to restore your computer and use that license key another option that you might have open to you is the license key is on the actual laptop or something like that you can use that license key it will be of your own old operating system whether it be Windows 7 8.18 8. it may be there and you may be able to use that to uh, roll back and install Windows you will need to download uh, the media uh, so you will have to have a copy of Windows 7 or 8 or 8.1 to install and do a clean install of that operating system yes you will lose all your data on Windows 10 unless you back it up so you will need to use that method as well now to reinstall Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 you're going to need to make sure that you have a product key now if you don't have a product key you can still buy Windows 7 and 8.1 if that's what you want to do let me just show you a couple of sites so you've got Newegg which is an, in a known good site for buying stuff in America and places like that you can see it's pretty costly uh, to buy a version of Windows 7 Professional uh, Windows 8 Professional you can see it's a couple of hundred bucks here and 239 bucks another cheaper option which I have used in the past which have been very very good and affordable and they do work 
as long as you get the uh, wa a warranty with it which is about 60 pence it's worth doing but you can see here you can purchase keys uh, and they will send them to you via email and uh, it's pretty uh, straightforward and easy to do Windows 7 Professional OEM key service pack one 18 pounds a lot cheaper but you will need to get the media uh, for that to download and install you can also get ult uh, the ultimate key here as you can see as well so the choices are yours that's if you want to purchase a new key and install that on your system it will then activate and you will be backed using that type of uh, operating system your next best option is to install Linux and I will show you the steps that you can take to install Linux now Linux is a free operating system that you can download and use so if you don't want to spend any money you can always use Linux now it's a, a steep learning curve because obviously it's a different operating system compared to Windows but the options there now we're going to be using Linux Mint for this uh, but if you do want to go ahead and download other versions of Linux you can do uh, but Linux Mint is pretty decent and uh, it's easy to do now you can see Linux Mint 18 this is the uh, one that you can download and I've already got mine downloaded uh, but you can hit the downloads button here and then come down to whatever version you want to download so if you're looking for cinnamon you can download 32-bit or 64-bit I'd go for the 64-bit if you've got that uh, type of processor uh, then go for the 64-bit so it will download as an ISO file and you will need to create a bootable um, USB flash drive or burn it to a disk, it's entirely up to you and there's plenty of uh, videos I've done showing you how to do that so if you want to learn how to do that then you can watch one of those videos or watch someone else's videos how to do that and then you can boot to that device Now, once you've booted to that device you'll be able to install it and I'll show you how to do that so we're going to boot to this uh, USB flash drive and start to install Linux Mint so you can see start Linux Mint that's what you want to select now of course this is different to installing compared to Windows but it's pretty straightforward and easy to do so just let it do its thing for the moment Okay, so now we've got this screen here what we want to do is click on install Linux Mint now I'm going to be choosing my language English continue and then install third-party software push continue okay so when you get to this area here you want to click on something else now remember this will uh, wipe the drive clean so if you've got data on there you need to make sure that you back up before you continue here otherwise you are going to end up wiping that drive so push continue here and you can see we've got our drive here so I'm going to click on new partition table push continue and now you'll see free space here so you can see I've got a very small uh, drive here but yours would be a lot bigger but that's okay we need to do is on this area here we want to make sure it's highlighted and then push plus sign from there we can change the amount of size that you want so this is your first primary size drive so you can choose whatever you want here so I'm just going to say 20,000 because it's got 30,000 there and that will leave 10,000 left and leave that as it is and we want to change this to the forward slash here click OK and then on the next free space available we're going to click on the plus sign here and uh, we're going to change this down here to the swap area
which is this one here. And I'm just going to leave the rest of this as is uh, for now. Uh, but you can make that a bit smaller if you want to. But pretty much that's how you're going to set it up. So yours will be a different size amount of drive. And you can select yours the way you want to do it. How much you want to spread out there. So click OK. And then you want to click on the EXT4 uh, partition here. And then we're going to go install. It will give you this uh, message here. We're going to push continue. It wants you to choose your location. I'm going to leave mine as is in London. Push continue. Now we can choose our keyboard layout. I'm going to leave mine as English UK. Now we need to put in your name and also pick a username. So I'm just going to put a username in there. A name you can put in whatever you like. We'll do that. And you can also call this whatever you like, the computer name. Put a password in. And you've got the option to encrypt that there. So it's saying that name already exists on the network. So we're just going to change that to bench. It doesn't really matter. There we go. And uh, it's entirely up to you whether you encrypt that if you want to. I'm going to push continue here. I'm not going to do it. And we're just going to let this go ahead and install. It won't take long because it's very fast. And that's the uh, installation now complete. And uh, we're not going to continue testing here. What we're going to do is restart the system because we're in this environment here. And we will just restart here. And it will tell you here, please remove your media. And there we go. So all we need to do now is uh, click on our name and put in our password. And there we have it. We're at the desktop, as you can see. So you've now installed Linux and you've moved on. So that's pretty much uh, what your options are if you hate Windows 10. I hope this one's been helpful to you. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with your computers or any video requests or anything like that, or you just want to chat, head over to the forums. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, you can pop over there and uh, give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Have a great weekend, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.